Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to Acronis Files Cloud. This series consists of several complimentary videos designed especially for novice service providers who do not have any experience with the Acronis Files Cloud. In this video, we will have a look at the support operations performed by a managed service provider. So let's get started. The support operations performed by a managed service provider at the production stage can be divided into the following four categories. First, the service provider can manage the organizational structure of a customer or a child business partner at a fine grain level. Second, the service provider can manage all the storage allocated to the Acronis Files Cloud service remotely. Third, the service provider can manage the customer's users remotely. Finally, the service provider can amend the Acronis Files Cloud settings according to the changing global and local regulations or customer's business needs. Let's have a look at each of those types of support operations. Start with managing the customer's organizational structure. You as a service provider can manage the customer's organizational structure at a fine grain level. This feature is especially useful now in the time of turbulent global economy when merging and acquisition of customers and small and medium-sized business partners becomes commonplace. First, you can move a customer or business partner and make it a child item or another business partner. However, it is not possible to move one customer and make it a unit of another customer because of security reasons. The point is that customers are standalone legal entities, and therefore, the users of one legal entity are not allowed to sync and share their content with another legal entity. Second, you can create folders and use them as a grouping criteria for existing or new customers. For example, you can group customers according to geographical areas, industry, size, or service usage mode. Please bear in mind that by creating a folder as a grouping criteria, you will need to turn all of the folder settings on. The idea behind this is that at the folder level, you will need to enable all of the options, whereas at the level of the individual customers, you can disable irrelevant options if needed. Alternatively, you can use folders to create some product lines. In this case, when provisioning to new customers, they will have only those features that are specified at the folder level. Therefore, if you create a folder as a product line, you need to tick only those options that are relevant for the corresponding product line. Finally, you can enable or disable any entity, be it a second level business partner, customer, or folder, by selecting the corresponding option in the drop down menu appearing next to the entity's name. If you disable an entity, the provisioning of the corresponding services for that entity will be stopped until you enable it again. If you wish to completely delete an entity and remove it from the list, you need to first disable it and then delete it. It should be noted that this operation is irreversible. In particular, if you delete a folder, all the entities comprising that folder will be deleted permanently. Therefore, think twice before deleting any entity. Mm -hmm. 
Next, let's look at managing the storage allocated to the Acronis Files Cloud. You can perform two major types of operations with respect to storage management. First, they can change the quota of existing storages allocated to the Acronis Files Cloud. Second, you can set up new storage and allocate it to the Acronis Files Cloud. In order to change the quotas, navigate to the Client's Overview page, select a desired customer, and then in the right pop up panel, press the Edit button next to the service name. Along with the quota value, you can amend the overage value. Storage quota is the amount of space provided to the specific customer for storing and sharing their data. If this value is exceeded, the company's administrator and the service provider's administrator will receive an email notification. However, the customer company can still use the storage until that overage value is reached. The second type of storage management operation that you can perform is setting up new storage. If you use the Acronis hosted model, the easiest way to register a new storage within the Acronis Files Cloud is to contact the Acronis support team. In turn, if you use the service provider hosted model or the hybrid hosted model, you might want to consult the technical documentation available on the Acronis website. Please bear in mind that once you enable a tenant within the Acronis Files Cloud, you can select one of the registered storages from the list and assign it to that tenant. However, you are not able to change the storage unless you delete all the data from it. Now let's look at managing customers' users. You as a service provider can create and manage administrator and user profiles for your customers. This scenario might be especially valuable for very small customers who do not have sufficient technical resources to administer their Acronis Files Cloud platform. Please bear in mind that by default, a new user or administrator is always created for the selected entity. You can check which entity is currently selected by means of the breadcrumbs displayed at the top of the page. In order to create a new user account for the selected entity, press the New button and select User. Specify the user email, login, language, and role, and press the Create button. In turn, in order to delete a user, select it from the list of users and in the right pop-up panel, click Disable and then Delete. Finally, let's look at amending the Acronis Files Cloud settings. You can amend the Acronis Files Cloud settings according to the specific global and local regulation or customer's business needs. For example, you can change the platform setting for your EU-based customers to improve their GDPR compliance posture. In particular, in the section File Purging Policies, you can change the so-called purging conditions. By default, if a user deletes a file from the Acronis Files Cloud, it will still be preserved in the repository and can be restored at any time. However, you can specify the condition for automatic permanent deletion of files and file revisions. It should be noted that the purging settings are valid only for deleted files. In other words, if a user has not deleted a file or a file revision, by default it will be preserved in the repository indefinitely, regardless of the purging settings. In the section, User Expiration Policies, 
You can specify the condition for automatic disabling of external users. For example, you can disable a user if he or she has not logged in for a long time. Finally, in the section Sharing Restrictions, you can specify the conditions for expiring files and folders shared with internal or external users. As you can see, the Acronis Files Cloud is a very powerful platform. It's designed to address the business needs of both service providers and their end customers. Along with the advanced functionality, it offers a very intuitive user interface. Once you grasp the business logic underlying it, you'll feel comfortable to navigate through and perform any business operations within the Acronis Files Cloud. Are you excited to have some hands-on? Please don't hesitate to contact us and request a trial account for the Acronis Files Cloud. Have fun!